Okay, so welcome to video number seven, and we are going to go ahead and jump right in and talk about shortcut keys. So shortcut keys are basically keys within Prezi that have been programmed to allow you to speed things up. Now, you don't really want to do this until you get a hang of at least a few templates. But once you actually understand the dashboard and how everything is laid out, then I recommend using shortcut keys. So that way you can just speed things up and what would normally take you maybe 15 minutes can now literally take you a click of a button. All right, so that said, let's jump right in. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in. Everybody wants to eventually speed up the process. Nobody in that is watching this probably wants to do it the long way. But like I said, if you actually you know, start out working with templates, once you get a hang of it, then I'd highly recommend that you use this. That way you can understand the whole process of how everything works. And that way you're better equipped with knowing when to actually use shortcut keys. Now, you don't have to remember the exact keys. I'm going to show you an article from Prezi where you'll be able to get access to this article and you know utilize these shortcut keys you can print out have it on your wall so you can always refer back to it later on but for now i just want to show it to you in action so let's say we want to select everything that is on this page so let's do that so if you click Control a now, obviously, this is going to be different with Mac computers. It might be Command A. But what I just did was I selected everything, all the topics. So Control A is select all. And that's pretty standard with most word processing or even browser functions is Control A selects all. By selecting all, that enables you to move things around a little bit better. So instead of moving items like little <laughs> topics one by one by one you can literally select everything and move it around so you can select and move here and move it here now i could select all and i can also copy by clicking Control c or command key and Control v which will basically copy everything now i don't see where you would actually need to do that unless you had a lot of these items right so if we were we wanted something similar to this maybe what we wanted to do is select that item so that's number five so let's see here that's this one here so that's the timeline so I could select the timeline I could do control C control V and by doing control V you saw that now it's there's a number seven and it's copied this exact element so if you like an element and you want to kind of base it upon that very element because you've done everything right then you can do control C and control V all right now if I want to go further in let's say let's double click on this and we like the way this is set up and maybe we want another element we could do control C, control V, or maybe we just want to copy and paste this text right here. So you would want to select it like so. And you can see that I've clicked control C, control V. I've copied and pasted it, and you can see a duplicate. So let's say, for example, we want this one over here. So what you do is you want to select the element. So if you look fairly carefully, my mouse goes over and this item highlights. So I can actually select the item. And let's say I want to select this one, this one, and this one. To do that, I'll need to hold down the control key. Like that, control C, control V. And you can actually duplicate it. And there we go. So now I will say that took a little bit of time to do that. But I can move it over here. I can move this over here like that. All right. So that's Control-C, Control-V. 
which are probably the most common shortcut keys that you're actually going to use. Now let's talk about some other shortcut keys. Now I will say before you use keyboard shortcut keys and you go to Prezi and you search for them, you will notice that some will say this support page is only, so there are some keyboard shortcut keys that are only for Prezi Classic specifically. So you only wanna do the ones that or for Prezi Next if you're using Prezi Next, and the ones for Prezi Classic if you're using Prezi Classic. But as you can see here, there are different ones for Windows and Mac, obviously, because there are different keys on the different platforms and different uh, computers. But with Windows, you can see it's Control A. With Mac, it's Control A to select all, Control C. Control X is to cut it. Cut it means that if you cut it, it'll disappear, and then of course you can copy it somewhere else. You can do Alt Backspace to delete. You can do Command and to drag things around, and there's other elements here as well to move things around. But for the most part, you're probably gonna use these right here, as this is more common. So to get here, obviously, let me give you the URL of the link. If you go to www.prezi.com slash business slash KB slash create dash your dash Prezi, no S, so Prezi, slash shortcuts. Now, if you want to just go to their database, you can do that and do a search. Just make sure that it says this support page is about Prezi Next because there was another keyboard shortcut page that was specifically for the Prezi Classic. So I wanted to make mention of that so you don't get confused, you don't learn something that is uh, totally different and not related. And that way you don't lose time. All right, so with that said, let's move on to the next video.